we've just finished uh, conducting a study in uh, England and this was a prospective study so people did not have diabetes at the start and we followed them forward in time to see who develops diabetes and we linked that to the intake of dairy products and other foods and uh, a unique feature of this study it is in the epic norfolk study is that we have detailed uh, dietary data from seven day food diaries now this is quite different to the standard uh, literature which is out there uh, which is all based on food frequency questionnaires. So this gave us a distinct advantage of much more detailed and comprehensive uh, dietary data. With that, we were uh, able to do an analysis which showed that while there was no association between total dairy products and incidence of diabetes, low-fat fermented dairy products uh, were inversely associated with a 24% reduced risk of diabetes. And specifically, yogurt made up somewhere around 87% of the low-fat fermented dairy products, and that was associated with a 28% reduced risk of diabetes. It's possible that dairy, total dairy uh, did not show an association because we have uh, differences in the associations with the individual components that make up the total dairy. The fact that uh, fermented dairy products in particular were associated with a reduced risk probably points to additional things that happen to dairy during the fermentation process. So dairy has a huge amount of nutrient density. It's, it's a good type of food, uh, dairy as a whole, uh, with vitamins, minerals, uh, possibly the good type of saturated fatty acids in terms of uh, 15 and 17 uh, carbon chain length fatty acids. Uh, but additionally, fermentation probably is giving us the advantage of uh, probiotic effects. Uh, that's likely to pay a, play a part. All our dietary guidelines are based on the notion that all saturated fat it has adverse health effects for cardiovascular disease. But we think this work contributes towards uh, reopening that understanding now for diabetes uh, in terms of whether uh, the dairy fat is different in terms of its quality and that not all saturated fat uh, is homogeneous and there are nuances in the sources of these dietary fats and dairy uh, products seem to be associated with probably good quality fat. There's evidence for this from other work, of course, no piece of work is totally new in isolation. Uh, there was some nice work from the Harvard group uh, who had shown that um, uh, trans fats that are from the ruminant products can also be beneficial. Our work uh, adds meaningfully to the already known work uh, on uh, the possible uh, protective effects of dairy products, particularly fermented dairy products, and yogurt intake in particular as part of that for the prevention of diabetes. But we have to uh, always preface that with no single food or food group alone works in isolation and uh, we must place this in the context of overall healthy diets and healthy lifestyles.